Do you love the outdoors and mountain biking? Or maybe you just have an energetic dog that is driving you nuts and needs a job. Welcome to the channel. Nice to meet you. I'm Chelsea Murray with Positive Futures Dog Training and Behavior. And today we're gonna talk about the perfect new sport for you, bike joring. Bike joring is a dog powered sport that stems from mushing sports. Dogs needed to stay in shape when there wasn't any snow around. So drivers developed a way to keep these dogs in shape using bicycles. The sport has grown significantly and is open to dogs of all shapes and sizes. It's a wonderful way to get the dogs moving and for you to get fit with your dog. But before you and your dog are ready to start chasing tail on the trail, you're gonna need some equipment and some foundation training to make sure that everybody stays safe and has a good time. You're gonna need a mountain bike with at least front suspension and disc brakes. You'll want an antenna to attach to the front of your bike to help hold the line over the front wheel and prevent accidental tangles. Your dog is gonna need a mushing specific harness, either H-back, X-back, or halfback, and you're going to need a line with integrated bungee to attach your dog. Next, you're gonna to need to do a little training with your dog. This training can start with kibble or treats, and you can start indoors, move to walks, and eventually bring it on the trails with you. A cue called line out or move to the end of your line and wait is a very helpful cue to get started. It allows you to prevent tangles and have a smooth takeoff. Your dog will also need to learn how to go on cue, how to turn right or G, how to turn left, paw, and definitely how to stop or whoa. As you get more experienced with your time on the trails, you might even consider teaching a cue like G over or move right and ha over or move left to help you navigate more open terrain. Another common foundation skill is teaching a dog on by or how to pass. This could be as simple as ignoring a squirrel on the side of the road, but it can also be as challenging as passing another dog and team. On by is one of the common skills used on the trail and one that takes quite a bit of work before you and your dog are proficient. After you have all of your equipment and your dog has some training under the harness, you'll need to start choosing locations to enjoy bike joring. Bike joring is best done on soft surfaces that are forgiving and more comfortable on the joints. You want to avoid concrete and asphalt and instead find forest floor, sand, packed snow with a fat bike and grass. Bike joring is a really fun sport to be able to enjoy with friends. Try to find a local community near you where you can help run dogs. As you're just getting started, this is also an excellent way to start to create a little bit of drive and interest in the sport from your dog if your dog is not sure what to do yet. If you have more than one dog in your household, it's best to start training with one dog at a time. Make sure that both dogs learn all of the directional cues before you start attaching them together and enjoying two dog sports. And if training is going well and you're ready to take it even one step further, they do have bike jaw competitions held at Dryland races where you can enjoy both one dog and two dog bike jaw classes. So what do you think? Are you ready to get started? I think that your dog is gonna thank you for this mental and physical workout. And you're gonna enjoy the relationship building that you can do with your dog. So if you're ready to dive in, I think you'll like this playlist here, which includes a lot of tutorials all about dryland mushing. Mm -hmm.